Oh, this is the team where we're supposed to play? So now I'm going to replay them. Replay them. Uh, we would have picked this shit. Like that was fake.
McDonald's meal?
Shut in that tiny ass small pack. Photographer and videographer needed.
centering our attention around Sangoon. And we have Tari. Tari's not that good. He's like a good bench player. Yeah, but he, that's why he's a bench player. We that's need like, like, like a, we need like a three. Three deep players? Yeah, like a small four. He's a small four. Low key. I think it meant more like a two. No, because the camera's a two. The camera's a star. Dylan Green and Dylan Green. And Dylan Brooks. And Fred Van Fleet. Dylan Green. Fred Van Fleet, Dylan Brooks, Jalen Green, um, Jabari, and, 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 and Sangoon, right? That's a dog shit lineup. Bill Hooks Squad Leaps starts August 11th, 2024. Register, register your team now. Yeah, it's on now, then. <laughs> I started studying. Halftime show presenting Anton Albert. Hi, Mom. Say a joke, say a joke. Say a joke, say a joke. Oh, um. Uh, 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 Gary, come home. Please come home, Gary. <laughs> Dude, 
and to everyone saying that was a good, that was such a good, that was a, that was a good trade. We traded him for picks. You know, Kate Cunningham was bigger than him. Kay Cunningham. 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 I would have got rid of Dylan Brooks for sure. Because, like. So, Zachariah or Sar? Alex Sar, second. Luke Shepard, second. Nah, he's. Actually, he's smaller. The guy on Yukon? Yeah, no, no, Bob Dillingham from Kentucky. No, I'm talking about fucking Dillingham. Bob Dillingham. He's a center. Yeah, he's like 7'2". Yeah, 7'2", 282. We don't need a big man like that. We need like fucking... Both ways. A lot of people saying we're going to get the ball. Why do you want to get the ball? Why do you want to get the ball? Why do you want to get the ball? Steven Adams is going to come back and start shooting three. 
Uh, we also have Jock Londale too. But he's gonna be, I guess, like third rotation. Imagine the lineup you can have. Okay, never mind, you're right, you're right. Because look, Steven Adams is getting paid 12 million. Alperin is only getting paid like three. I mean, Adams deserves it though. He does, he does deserve it. But with like with that pay rate, obviously Steven Adams is getting the more minutes. Unless, unless. No. Alfred's a future star. That's what I'm saying. He's still on a roof contract. So, like. so that means Steven and Alfred are starting the game. Someone's going to have to come off the bench. Because why are you going to start? Because look, Jalen, Jalen, Dylan, and Fred are already starting. Then Jabari's coming off the bench. Somebody's going to be I would have got rid of Dylan Brooks. Reggie Bullock. No, but I'm saying we trade, we, we give away Reggie, we give away... I would have got rid of Dylan Brooks. I would have drafted Cody Williams or like Ron Holland. But Dylan Brooks did... That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Now Josh Christopher is doing nothing in what? In LA? Is he still in LA? He's in Memphis. Oh, God. He's in Memphis, I think. Poor guy. I feel bad for him. I feel bad for God. I feel bad for fucking um, Kenny Martin. I feel bad for him. He was good. He was. He was solid. We had a lot of young guys like Ty Ty. He was all right. Ty Ty I think we should have given him. We should have given him like him and the young guys more like Ty Ty. I want to give Kenny Martin Jr. for sure. He was so good. He was good. Him and Tom Brady. Alright, look, 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 look. We give away Nate Williams. We give away... Josh Christopher was like the face of our fans like for like the whole season. Yeah, he was like, I think he was a fan favorite. He was a fan favorite. He was. Hey, uh, hey, Until hey, that hey, incident. Hey, 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 hey. What about, what about Kenny Martin, though? He was a fan fan. Bro was a little shot blocker. I like him. I like him. Good. I like him. But I, like, overall, Josh Christopher was like a fan fan. Yeah, I like Lee Shepard, but I don't think it's going to be either. He went to a game, literally, Josh Christopher's like all on the like interviews. He's literally doing everything with the fans. So then, like, maybe I could be wrong, and like, maybe like, I'm going to carry. So we have so many like extra people that we don't need. Maybe I think we're I think every all those extra pieces we're gonna trade for somebody. If he's good, if he's good enough, they'll get rid of Jalen Green. Uh, I think I think we should get if he's good. The problem the problem is, is that low key Jalen Green came up clutch this season. So it damn it, it extended him like a couple more years at least. He's taking all the shots though, of course he's gonna have all the high pace going on. Kind of, not all the time. Alpern, Alpern had his game too before he got hurt. Yeah, but I'm talking after. That's when Jalen Green started like rising. Jalen Green didn't move the ball or play defense. I got a little bit of Vegas here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, actually, I got a little bit Have you ever come from Vegas? Not really. I kind of woke up late. Yeah, I, I had to wake up this morning. I felt so groggy. Why don't we pick a little team? For the Rockets? Yeah, this whole league, bro. I've been pissed off this, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm on the verge of cash now, bro. Aaron is hitting you? Well, maybe, bro. I'm on the verge of, like, literally cash now. I would have thought, like, what's This is what happened yesterday, bro. What happened yesterday? I turned the ball over for the game, like, like, basically a game winning turnover. A game losing turnover. Didn't that happen to you before? You left the Vegas? Like a free throw? Yeah, free throw. You remember my friend Paul? That guy? Maybe. You were Paul, right? So I was on this guy playing games and he was on the bottom. He turned $115 to $600. He was like that. Humble bottom. Humble bottom? The bottom? I like that website. You need to play the bottom. What he was doing, he was just betting on people. He was, like, he was going from table to table to see who was on the win street and he was just betting on them. I'm surprised you don't use the bottom. It's not the same feeling, but something to surprise. 
Ryan Dunn, but we can use it here. Ryan Dunn. Six six from Virginia. You don't need a VPN. I play. I played it already. You're at it. I'm not. I don't get your play. life together, buddy. I haven't played it in a while. But the last time I played, I lost. Bravada. Fuck. I would have drafted this guy right here. This guy, this guy's gonna earn you big bucks. Big bucks. He's gonna do good in the He's gonna do really good in the finish. All he's gonna do in the finish is to get hit. He's gonna do really good in the finish. Or how do you go? I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I don't know. I don't know if we, I don't know if we're gonna teach him because 76 is kind of young. No, but all he's gonna do is just spot up. They're gonna work. They're just gonna work Tyrese and Joe. They're just gonna work Tyrese and Joel. All he has to do is play around perimeter and catch the ball and shoot. True. Toronto's gonna look pretty good. I heard Toronto like Toronto looks pretty solid. I wish Grady Dick would actually like do something more. It's because, bro, he just, he just hasn't gotten his moments, man. He just needs his moments. I know. I don't believe Grady Dick is a bust. He's under like this like the, Oh shit! The Raptor system, he just doesn't really fit it. Like, he hasn't gotten to his groove yet. But once he gets into his groove, he like, needs to shoot the ball better. Yeah, he's kind of in it. Right now, their, their, best, think, their best player is fucking what? Scotty Barnes I don't think, I don't think, I don't think it's Grady Dick. I think it's the, it's the system. It's the system that he's broken. Bro can shine. Uh, I want my boy Dick to shine. I want my Dick to shine. All right, let me do my homework. Yeah, I would've got to Cody Williams and Ron Harlan. But look, it don't matter though, like, you can see like, okay, see, they got the first seed, yeah. and I'm getting fucked over by fucking Dallas, which was the fifth seed. I don't think it's much more about like the seed anymore, I think it's more like experience. Okay, see, has never been in that, place. like, that young, that young core has never been in that. Imagine if he's college Jimmer Fredette in the NBA. He did good college. Regent Shepard shot 51% from the three. That's crazy. This is like... Yeah. This is different. Yeah. This is different. You know, maybe that's what it is. Maybe the Rockets have thought that like they themselves need more better shooting, like higher body shooting. They do need better shooters. It can't be Fred Van Fleet fucking pulling up every time off a of pick and roll from Dylan Brooks. But we need a hustle guy. That's why you draft the fucking Ron Hall and Tony Williams. But see, they didn't do that. And so you have a man of men hustles. A we, but we, a man just can't be the only hustler. We need multiple hustlers. Dylan hustles starting. A man comes off the bench and hustles. So I'm thinking they didn't draft us more than a out of bounds because we're gonna we're gonna play off like Fred Van Fleet. Yeah, so Fred Van Fleet gonna start. You got uh, Reed Shepard, then you got Amanda Thompson, then you got Jabari Smith, and then Alfred starting. That's They're gonna start doing well. They pay him too much. He is, but so is Jalen. Oh, Jalen. Oh, good friend. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, why did they draft Reed? They didn't need that. That's the They're trading. I'm telling you, the reason why they draft Reed Shepard is because they need to shoot it. No one in the team can fucking shoot the ball. You have a fucking 40 year old Fred Van Vliet shooting the ball. Jabari's not that bad at shooting. He's alright, but I mean, compared to Reed Shepard, Reed Shepard is a straight up shooter. 
Jabari is more of like, he'll take you into the post and maybe shoot a jumper. He won't take the three though. Yeah, but then now we're setting five guards. All our money are, are in our guards, and then we have to pay out. We have to pay Sengun after the season. Then we're gonna release, we're gonna release extra players. We're gonna wave people off. We'll wave off Aaron, we'll wave off fucking. Sengun's gonna want a fat contract. He deserves a fat contract. Exactly. Where are the money to give him a fat contract? That's why I'm saying we're gonna have to release and raise players off, and then we'll trade. We'll trade one of our semi, semi solid players. You got Dylan Brooks in one team. I don't, I don't know why. No. Yeah. Yeah. Dylan Brooks is getting paid twenty. Adam's paying twelve. And Fred is 40. Hey, this guy's an addict, bro. This guy's an addict. You got a uh, code? Yeah. Hey. You want to use it or not? I, I, I can use it right now. What do I get out of it? Probably something. I don't know. What? I haven't logged into my Movada account in a minute. See, this is all I play now. Steak is Kevin Durant and the Suns are getting Chris Paul back. Hey, Will, come before a fight happens. Thank you. Fourth quarter, Crypto, Jamal Schooling. 